okay first and foremost let's turn on our battery yes our battery switch is on and welcome to its aircraft engineered and today we're inside a boeing 787 dreamliner cockpit and we are starting the apu we're going through our apu startup procedures so the reason why we went straight for the battery first is because unlike other aircraft uh when you turn on the batteries on the a on the 787 you cannot immediately start the apu so we need to make sure our ccr is live ccr stands for common computing resources uh, which is part of the common core system on the 787 uh, it's it's a lot to explain but uh, for now what we need to know is that for the ABU to start we need the common core system to be on so in this case our battery switch is on and we just wait for the display to come on so when you the left display system is on that's when you know that uh, the the ccs is live so the concept of the ccs is uh, it works in applications so for us to start the apu we need the fuel application and the fire detection system applications to be live that's why the apu controller has to wait for them to come online so as you can see our displays are, are, are on you can still start the apu but now it's it's, it's it, the, the one rule of thumb or one tip on starting the 787 apu if you don't want any future or you don't introduce any future faults just wait for the fuel indication to show uh, once the fuel indication comes online that's when you will know that the, the fuel application on the ccs is, is, is live so this is quite different when you have uh, the ground power connected because once the ground power is connected automatically the ccs system comes online so you don't need to wait for all of this to happen but today since we're power setting a, a, a an aircraft an, an unpowered aircraft we need to wait for this yeah as we see our indication is on so now we go to ipu master switch and you move it from off on to start once you release it you'll go back to on and we come and we monitor it as you can see our apu indications are on so to get a clear picture on what's going on when the apu starts let's go to the apu maintenance page and we can see all the parameters and bear in mind right now we are on battery all these displays are powered by the battery and the apu is still uh, not live so right now you can see the apu mode is on starting you can monitor the speed sensor and you can see the ap fuel feed uh, status uh, as you can see our spar valve is open and our dc pumps are on and ac pumps are still off they will come on when the apu is running and once the generators are live so right now uh, let's monitor our egt and oil pressure and also uh, just as a heads up uh, you can check the apu dc uh, voltage and, and current so you can see the the voltage is going down and the current is going up so if you notice we, once you notice the current coming down and the voltage going back up that means the, the the starter is disengaged and the apu is now running on its own right now it's still high and you can see it now it's, 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 the voltage is at 28 yeah now it's almost at 50 percent that means the starter is disengaged and yeah the other way of monitoring this is using the egt uh, when it rises to speak and begins to drop and uh, know that uh, it's now engine is now accelerating on its own and uh, right now we're at uh, 76 and very soon the generators will come online and that's approximately at 90% RPM. So now let's see 90%, yes, the generations are coming online. And take note for the 787, we have a starter generator. So our starter, it starts the engine. And when we get to 90%, it switches over to generator mode and starts generating um, yeah, electricity. So right now our aircraft is live, our APU is running. And so the thing about another fact to note about the 787 is when the APU power comes online, it knocks off external power. So external power, is automatically disconnected as soon as the APU generators are online. Now the part that gets most maintenance guys anxious is the status page. As you can see, you've got a lot of messages. So what happens if the system calls up and it goes to the device test and it's testing the generic system. Each message message will be disappeared. Like now it's uh, yeah you can see most of the messages are gone. Yes they keep going they keep going. So what happens is whatever message stays behind that's the message that's to be the call so you need to troubleshoot it it makes sure the steel speech is clear and that still makes the 77 a beautiful aircraft so that's just for it most of these messages which is a once the ADRS system is live thanks for watching ciao